So um, otherwise, you know, Jillian, your test was otherwise normal. We didn't find any other changes. So for the other, you know, 309 conditions that you were screened for, you weren't found to be a carrier for anything else. So that automatically reduces that chance to less than 1%. Um, and Dan, you know, do you have your blood draw scheduled for the recombined test? Oh, he already had his on Saturday. Okay, perfect. So, you know, after his results come back, you're going to have a similar call to, to this one, and they can be a little bit more definitive about what those results mean. Um, so if at that point, you know, you're feeling comfortable with the numbers you get, then you, you can stop there. Or if you choose and want to do, you know, additional testing by sequencing, they can sort of help you with that process as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see, the other thing that we offer as part of this call is that we can take a family history if you're interested, just where we ask questions about, you know, your health, your siblings, parents, aunts and uncles, just to see if there are any health concerns traveling through the family that may suggest considering other testing. Uh, is that something you'd like to go through today? Women have two X chromosomes, and men have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So Wiscott aldrich syndrome is actually what we call an X-linked condition, which just means that it's, it kind of travels on the X chromosome. So when we say that mom is a carrier, that means that she has one X chromosome that's healthy and then one X chromosome that has a genetic change that puts her sons at risk of having Wiscott aldrich syndrome. So how that works is that, you know, with each pregnancy, there is a 50% chance that she could pass on the mutation and cause Wiscott aldrich syndrome, or a 50% chance that she passes on the healthy copy of the gene and the child wouldn't be affected. So with, we know with men and women, you know, the X and Y chromosomes are gonna determine the gender of the baby, right? So a woman is only gonna pass on her X chromosome to a child, right? Because she only has two X chromosomes, so that's really the only possibility. And then the X or Y chromosome from, mom, from dad, excuse me, is gonna determine if the child is a boy or a girl. So for you, knowing that you have this diagnosis of Wiscott aldrich syndrome, for your children, if you have boys, none of them will be affected because you'll pass on your healthy Y chromosome. And for your daughters, all of them will be a carrier because you only have the one X chromosome and it, we are assuming it has a genetic change that has led to that diagnosis. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, tell them what your mom said about um, how it, <clears throat> she said that after the Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, um, when he had the bone marrow transplant and everything, apparently the doctor told her that it like reset his DNA. If yeah, that makes she sense. said it. Yep. Yeah. So the bone marrow transplant, basically, what it does, it sort of takes over your um, your blood system. So our bone marrow is like the the precursor cells, the starting cells for all of our blood. So things like platelets that clot our blood and red blood cells that move oxygen around and white blood cells that fight infection, that all starts from bone marrow. So what with cut alters is, is actually a problem with the bone marrow. So if you have a bone marrow transplant, it actually corrects the problem because you're replacing the bone marrow that is unhealthy with healthy bone marrow from a donor. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it corrects him, but it so won't part, correct actually, our your kids. Did you have a blood test? Uh, I honestly have no idea. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry. Let me clarify. For the carrier valve test, the carrier testing, did you have a blood test? Yes. Okay. So, actually, um, it's unlikely that the blood test is going to be a helpful screen for you guys. Um, I'm going to have to talk to my supervisor because basically when we do a blood test for you for genetics, there's a chance that we could actually be testing your donor. Does that make sense? Oh, wow. Where, because, you've, because your bone marrow has been replaced by a donor's bone marrow, when we test your blood for the DNA, it's unlikely really representative of the DNA that you were born with. Oh, no. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Oh, gosh. So what I can do, don't panic. <laughs> what I can do is I can have them cancel that test so that you guys don't get billed or anything like that. Oh, and we can God. figure out what to do as far as how can we get you screened. Oh, um, thank God. Thank you. 
But what I would probably recommend is you are, you're planning on seeing a genetic counselor, right? Yes. Okay, so what I would probably recommend is hold off on doing the testing until you see the genetic counselor, only because they're going to be able to make sure that they're doing the right test. So it may have to be something like a skin biopsy, where um, they take a sample of the skin, which is not from the bone marrow, right? So your skin is still representative of the DNA that you were born with. So they can send that to a different lab to kind of grow the cells and get the DNA that way. And that would be a... um, that would be an alternative option to consider. Can I just add in that I've already had a skin yeah. biopsy when I was a kid? I've got a good-sized mm-hmm. chunk of scar in my back from it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Luckily, they do it. It's much smaller now. <laughs> they call it a punch biopsy, and it's, like, it's, it's just a tiny little circle, and they try to do it in a spot that's not as visible. Um, I mean, that's not our only option, but it is one possible option. Well, I mean, if we're really serious about having kids, I personally wouldn't mind having another scar. So, that's just me. <laughs> well, I was just throwing in that I've already had one. <laughs> let me actually, so your name, um, Dan, it's Daniel um, Marinero, right? Yes. And what's your date of birth? 5-19-93. Five, My DNA. Mm-hmm. That... Is my DNA technically clear of all the X chromosomes that carry Wiscott Aldridge syndrome, or is it not in the clear because it's still so my blood? Yes and no. It's it's tricky. So, um, how can I sort of explain this? So, it's been re- the DNA has been replaced in your bone marrow and your blood. But in, you know, your eye and in your sperm and in your skin, that's all the DNA that you are born with. So what that sort it's kind of like if you get, um, say, a, a liver biopsy or sorry, a liver transplant. If we had to do a liver biopsy to look at that liver, well, that would be more representative of the donor liver than it would be for you. So we've replaced the affected organ, which is like the the bone marrow for you. So that DNA has been reset. But as far as the DNA in the rest of your body, in your, you know, skin, in your sperm, that's all the DNA that you were born with. So that's why even though you're not really affected with Wiscott Aldrich syndrome anymore, you've been cured of that, your children would still be at a chance to be carriers because that DNA is still um, present in your sperm. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> well, poo. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, any other questions about that piece? Uh, none that I have right now. No, I can't okay. think of any. Well, let's just finish up the family history, too. So, I know you mentioned that you have a little brother, and you share the same mom. Yeah. All right, and any health concerns for him? Uh, no, he seems healthy as an ox. All right, how old is he? He's 10 years younger than me, so he was born in September. So he's 13. He's Uh, going to be 13. Yeah, he'll be 13. Excellent. And any other brothers or sisters for you? Um, I've got one little sister, same mom, different dad. Okay. Uh, And how old is she? Seven. And I've got one little brother, same dad, different mom. And how old is he? I think he's 13 because he was like one year older than your yeah, brother. Yeah, he's, uh, he's 13. He'll be 14 in September. Excellent. All right, and he's also healthy, doing well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All At, right. Like six foot two, I think he's pretty healthy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Six foot two at 13. He's going to be tall. Yeah. Um... All right, and let's see, how old is your mom? Ooh, uh, she's 40 something. She's in her 40s. And besides being a carrier for the Wiscott Aldrich, any 